What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday and we are back with our Showtime review. We've got the English League or the Premier League. You've got Blitz, Curler, Foden. Obviously, you also have your Fortress Van Dyke, as you see there in the trailer, and Saka, who does not have a Showtime skill. But listen, this has been a pack. I think a lot of people have been waiting for Blitz Curler to come back. If you missed the original Blitz Curler of Kiesa, Salah and Son, I feel like this Foden card is definitely beastly, right? Now, this is in an English selection here as well. We did that video a couple of days ago. The rest of the players in here are not that great. I mean, they're okay, depending on where you're playing in the game. But it's all about these big boys here, right? And we're going to start with Saka. So, Saka for me is definitely a player that I feel like I haven't given him enough of a go. Um, he can play left back, he can play left mid and left wing, right wing. He's on D rating uh, this week, so that's a bit of a pity. I don't know why he's on D rating. It's not going to make a massive difference uh, because he does have unwavering form as well. That should balance out. He's got scissors kick or scissors faint, double touch, flip flap, soul controls. He's got ball roll off the rip. Of course, he's got one touch passing as well. But in terms of everything else and his ability and stuff, I just feel with 32 levels, yes, he can go to ridiculous uh, high you know, stats and stuff. You can get his balance, acceleration, speed speed, type possession, dribbling and ball control all into the 90s but I feel like I just feel like Saka is definitely not it even with this card I mean if you're going 10 into every level here you are going to have the main stats on 90 but I feel like at this stage if you are playing wingers and just solely prolific wingers they need to be able to cut in and either shoot or pass that's what they need to be able to do and Saka is not going to be able to do either unless you give him the stats to do so. And even at that, he's still missing a couple of skills then as well. You know, like he doesn't have pinpoint cross for crossing. He has long range curler, but he doesn't have outside curler. He doesn't have long range drive. He doesn't have knuckle shot. He doesn't have any of those. His passing skills are a little bit let down as well. And if you're playing him left back, which a few people have asked me, would I play him left back? His defensive stats are too low. He just doesn't have that player ID. So I definitely think this is the weakest player of the pack. In saying that... It's still a brilliant card. I mean, this is where we're going now. It's like you're literally splitting hairs, uh, you know, on how good these cards are because they're they're just ridiculous. They have no weakness. But when you're comparing them to the likes of Foden, who we're going to take a look at here, I definitely think that there is a slight difference in these cards. Now, number one I love about Foden, as the number one thing, is that he's down as a whole player, right? I had the old Foden card. I have multiple versions of Foden, okay? And we're actually going to show you a build of Foden here. He's got blitz curler. He's got one touch pass, first time shot, true pass and low lofted. And of course, he's got long range curler and rising shot with long range shooting. The only thing he doesn't really have here is if you want to give him ball roll, you can do that. And of course, that's going to take a little bit of luck and a little bit of time and investment into his skills and do the legacy transfer and a bit of luck, as I said. But also, I would like to give him maybe outside curler, and I probably would like to give him, just looking at this build here, I mean, he doesn't really need much, lads. Honestly, if you give him ball roll um, and outside curler, he pretty much has all the passing and shooting skills that you could possibly want. And in the course with his booster, you're going to be getting that kick and power up, speed, acceleration, balance, stamina, ball control, dribbling, type possession and finishing. And then you're also pairing that with whatever manager that you're using. So if you're using Pep or you're using the Champs, you're going to be getting the added boost to that as well, right? So I definitely think that Foden is probably the pick of the pack. I'm actually going to show you two builds of Foden here. So this is the first one here that we're going to take a look at. This is what he trains up to 102 overall. Speed 91, acceleration 95, kick and power 92, 97 balance, and then of course offensive awareness 90, ball control 95, dribbling 92 with tight possession 92, low pass over 80, which is nice. You're not going to be using him as that kind of a role. He's more kind of a cut in and shoot. And of course that finishing at 92. Curl at 84, I would like that to be over 85, but it is what it is. You could as well if you wanted to, you could just knock back on the speed one if you wanted to, but the kicking power over 90 is going to make a big difference if you shoot with this card, especially if you have the finishing and kicking power over 90. He's just going to be able to blitz from a, lot, from a long distance out. The curl is a bit of a pity, but I definitely don't think even with a second build that you see here, you can't really rectify the curl build if you go for full acceleration and balance. This is a different build. I got these builds over on Discord, so shout out to the boys over on Discord um, for sending these on when they spun. We might spin later in the live stream if we do it. We'll see. But honestly, I feel like the, the, this card is probably the pick of them. In saying that, lads, if you have the previous blitz curlers, right... Is it really worth getting these cards? That depends, because I'll show you in a second, right? I will show you. Like, if you're looking at the Blitz Curler here with Foden, it all depends on how much you value the Blitz Curler uh, shot animation, right? Now, we have Sun here, and I'm going to just show you real quickly. I'm going to show you my version of Sun. Now, this Sun has Blitz Curler here. As you see here, we've already given him soul control and flip flap, so we've invested a lot into him. 
And this is what Sun has here. You know, 94, 92, 92, 90, 90 finishing, 90 curl, 90 speed, 95 acceleration. The balance is the only thing that's lacking. We also have Blitz Curler Salah. Even though his attacking awareness is lacking, we have every other stat over 90. Curl, finishing, tight possession, dribbling, ball control, speed, acceleration, and balance. Everything but kick and power. So you see the way Konami kind of balances this, that no player will ever have the full over 90s, apart from the very odd few, right? So that's just something to keep in mind, lads, honestly. Like, this version of Foden without Blitz Carter is phenomenal as it is. So the, you know, the new one is going to be even better because he's got whole player, he's got better speed, he's got better everything really, you know, passing, finishing, everything is going to be better. So yeah, I definitely think he is an upgrade on that card, but it just depends on how much you value that Blitz Curler skill set and that animation because it is an animation. That's all it is really. Now we also want to talk about Van Dijk, right? Van Dijk is a player that I definitely used a lot of Van Dijk at the start of the game. He's got a shutdown booster here, plus two to his defensive awareness, tackling, defensive game and speed the, the big thing with this van dyke lads is he does have fortress right now fortress i did a video on that on what it does basically you get a boost to your defensive abilities uh to the team when you're leading going into the second half so if you're one nil half time comes then you come back out after half time you're one nil up still you will get a boost to your defensive abilities or so it says in the description of the fortress skill but this guy will leave fortress aside he's got every single uh, ability and stat that you would possibly need heading man marking interception blocker aerial superiority slide and tackle acrobatic clearance and fighting spirit insane uh absolutely insane if you give him one touch pass would be absolutely beastly on him the thing i like about this van dyke more than any the only reason i stopped using van dyke was when they changed the kind of gameplay a little bit um with the speed this van dyke actually has a speed booster it's ridiculous right it is a ridiculous card and as i said if we show you a build here of van dyke you can actually go 90 plus with the speed and that's going to be huge for a build-up player right you've got 91 speed here you've got 80 acceleration 88 jumping and of course all his defensive stats are going to be absolutely insane as well now he doesn't hit the heights of some of the other defenders in the game but i think it's more van dyke's player id and i do obviously think that even though he's 102 overall those stats are kind of that of a weaker 102 overall when you compare him to some of the other players in the game but i definitely think that he is an absolute monster i think his speed pumps him up a little bit more than you would uh, expect but even at this with these two builds you're not getting 95 plus in any of the stats in defense now right i'm going to show you something here one of the best build-ups in the game at the moment is this saliba very very good now look at the difference in the defensive capabilities right they're similar height they're similar everything really defensive awareness 96 98 94 96 for his four defensive stats and 85 speed this will be the case with a lot of your players that can play cb um it'll just depend on how much you value player id and how much you value uh, van dyke's physique again you can see turam there even the free costa corta boys he doesn't have the aggression but he has the speed nearly at 90 as well so i definitely think it's a good pack honestly i do i think it's a very very good pack one of the best packs that they've released in a while um is it the best blitz curler versions of the cards yet i mean it, it remains to be seen because i do feel that sometimes that if you are using foden you are going to be cutting in with him anyway and a lot of tap backs and a lot of kind of you know spacing van dyke there's so many good cbs in the game at the moment unless you really want van dyke it's hard at this stage now because everyone has beastly teams it's hard to recommend but yeah it's a phenomenal pack it really is a really good pack even if you leave the skill set aside the cards themselves are really really strong and solid so let me know if you guys spin we will try to get a bit of a live stream going later i hope to see you in the chat for our last live stream for a little uh, a little bit uh, before the wedding and then obviously we will be back but we'll try and get this video up early doors then do the live stream let me know if you spun or if you're going to skip are you just fed up with the cards or are you all in for these ones let me know in the comments below don't forget to subscribe smash that like button and i'll see you in a few